Hello, Shoei here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. Today, I'm installing a tokonoma and an oshiire in this tatami room. This room measures 2700 millimeters by 2700 millimeters, which is small. I divide the room into two. The tokonoma and oshiire are about 1300 millimeters wide. I use 1800 millimeters timber for each, so there will be some waste. I cut all the parts first. I'm cutting the girder that supports the tokonoma and the oshire joists. On the top, I cut grooves where the joists will be installed. I won't cut grooves on the tokonoma sill. It is called a tokogamachi, kamachi for short. Instead, I cut a groove on the edge of the girder. The groove is cut on the Oshire threshold to install the floor. The floorboards will be fixed directly onto the threshold. First, I measure the front position of the Kamachi and Oshire thresholds. It's possible to use an incline, but removing it afterward is difficult, so use a string and measure it accurately. I attach a piece of kamachi to the pillar and trace its outline. This is easier and more accurate than using a spear. The front surface of the kamachi and the pillar are lined this time. A kamachi is usually installed 50mm inside the pillar. But a single timber serves as a threshold under the tatami and the kamachi this time. This is why the front surface of the kamachi should align with the front of the pillar. I cut a stop to dado joint and join them. I'm notching the part where the kamachi will be installed. Chiseling the bottom isn't difficult. But hand sawing in a difficult position is. Even in difficult positions, I need to saw it precisely. It should fit perfectly. Using a chisel, I can adjust it several times. It's quite a difficult part of the job. Whether the front of the kamachi is aligned with the pillar, or if it is inside by about 15mm, the dado must be cut. An installation of a kamachi is quite challenging and requires a lot of processes.
I temporarily fit the Kamaji, then marks the pillar's front position. こっちはキングドジターサゲスレトルあんないな、うん、スレトル部分はこっからここなんやだけ中を抜いてあるわけや硬くなりすぎるようにうんほんで死ぬとこも全部が死んだり奥で当たったりしたからだけ見える7ミリぐらいがキューッと押さえてくれとるこれがキゴロシな全部を叩けばいいんじゃないIt's not necessary to cut the shoulder like this if you are installing a kamachi 50mm inside the pillar. By cutting it to the right length and screwing it from the back, it can be joined to the dado. It's important to saw the shoulder straight and neatly, but the length comes first. Cutting the knots to the right length is the most challenging part. If it's cut too long, The joint gets damaged and it looks rough. If the cut is too short, a gap can develop. Even a small gap would cause it to widen over time. Balancing the process is challenging. I secure the threshold. I have secured the shim neatly under the threshold so it won't sink. I secure it from both sides with screws. On the tatami side, I first cut a countersink and screw it. Nails were used in the old days instead of screws. When the screw catches on the tatami, it can tear the hairy. Because this room's tatami doesn't have hairy, if it gets caught, the woven straw could come undone. The front of the kamachi will align the pillar. However, the kamachi is inside the pillar's chamfered portion. Considering the thickness of the tatami, I choose a loft that part. There will be a small gap between the tatami and the corner of the pillar if this is not done. As a base, I install the angle brace called a hiyuchi. It gets in the way. The inspection will pass even without this hiyuchi. This hiyuchi only works when the house moves horizontally. If such a strong earthquake occurred, The building would have already collapsed. I install the tokonoma in the Oshire floor. The bottom of the Oshire could be called a floor, but the tokonoma floor is called a juita. This time, t 
Tokonoma floorboards are 30mm Japanese Cypress joysticks with no knots. I set the floorboard temporarily and install the joists. Whenever I use solid wood, I make a slight level difference between the kamachi and the floor. It is 1mm for veneer and 2mm for solid wood. Here I create a larger difference because the kamachi could shrink or the floorboard could warp. I install the tokonoma floor. These 30mm thick joysticks floorboards have a nice reddish color and will look beautiful once they are plain. Jita is usually made from a large solid wood single board. This tokonoma uses floorboards, but it works well as a Jita as well. This is not a traditional tokonoma for a reception room. Currently, it appears that it will be used to display seasonal decorations. This tokonoma is located on the inner right side of the room, not on the other side, so that the dolls on display are kept out of the sun as much as possible. I install the floorboard using glue and screws as usual. I want to make sure that no gaps between the kamachi and the floor will develop, so I glue it neatly and firmly to secure it. I have now finished installing the tokonoma floor. The green is classy, so it looks beautiful. Next, I install the Oshire floor. As you can see, the material is joist floorboards with knots. There are no joists under the Oshire. I cut the floorboards to 90cm lengths and install them. The boards are 30mm thick, so they are strong enough. I frame the ceilings of both the tokonoma and the Oshire. The ceiling height is too high for the tokonoma but I frame them together. I pull down the outlet wiring. Tokonoma ceilings are the same as room ceilings. Traditionally, tokonoma ceilings were elaborate, but nowadays it's common to use the same ceiling in a room. Using the same material might make it more comfortable. For walls, the okami style is common nowadays. Though this is a small tokonoma, I installed kumoita. It's a plank installed on top. I installed a plasterboard for the wall. The plasterer will finish it. Mm. 
After installing the wall, I install the crown motor, and the tokonoma is complete. Next, I install the Oshiwe wall. The material is 10mm thick processed cedar planks with knots. The joints are tongue and groove, so I secure them with glue and 4mm staples. The planks are 4 meters long. I use the left side of the plank for the left wall, the center for the front wall, and the remaining ones for the right wall. The joint fits well when each plank is good from left to right, considering the lengths. Like the floorboard, I install the shelf in the middle. The kamachi will be exposed on the front, but the board's lengths and installation are the same way as floorboards. Since it doesn't require joists, it's easy. I install a trim called Zokin Zuri. The sap side is usually at the front. The horizontal insulation narrows the Oshira space. I also trim on the corner, and the Oshira is complete. I installed Tokonoma and Oshira in two days. Two days seemed like enough, but it's already 8 p.m. Only the top shelf has not yet been installed, but since it's late, I'm going home. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.